bad. It's really bad. God. Oh, dude, this car has been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, crunch, 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 crunch. No wonder they totaled this thing. We really don't know what we're doing. So that's gonna be fun. Stop. All right, guys. Guys, what's going on? We are here taking apart the 2016 Mustang. We got Charlie here, as you guys have seen. We're starting to, starting out. Nice shot. Nathan's looking up how to take the wipers off. We're about to drop this engine out of the car. So, engine's got to come out. Subframe's bent. Chassis's bent. Frame's bent. Everything's bent. At the end of this video, the engine's going to be out. Maybe. One piece. Maybe. One piece. Guys, this is a big learning curve. We've never even touched anything remotely this new. The newest car we worked on. Well, I guess the Dodge counts. That's probably the newest. Uh, not this in depth. Not, yeah, nothing this in depth except for a 65 Mustang. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. K members gotta be replaced. It's gonna be a freaking wild. We really don't know what we're doing, so it's gonna be fun. Okay, guys, so starting off here, yes, see, we're just pulling off the wipers, the cow, everything, trying to get everything out of the way so we can uh, free up this K member and engine bay. So we got a lot of broken stuff. There's just a lot of broken wiring and just all sorts of crap in this engine bay. So we're just gonna clean it up and here in a minute we're gonna lift the car up, and try to get uh you guys see the damage underneath. It is uh it's a little rough, but you guys will see here in a second. Um yeah, but so far so good that it really wasn't that bad of a process, but here we have a listen up and uh here we go back to the story. Alright guys, well we got the car up in the air, Charlie's over here. And uh, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Gosh. We got cracked K member here. We got, oh man, this is. <laughs> Over here isn't as, as bad. There's some frame damage. There's a little few bends there. But uh, we got kinked K member here. Then you can see the whole K member's kinked here. Then you got it's kinked here, broken here. Whew. Oh, and this motor mount up here is broken. And then this steering shaft is hitting the K-member here. Not to mention this sway bar link is broken in half. <laughs> oh, and it's broken right here. Ooh. And then you get back here and the trans mount is just shattered to pieces. Oh, dude, this car has been through a lot. <laughs> She's not done yet. You know, I was kind of thinking at first, like maybe we could save the K-member and, uh, I just don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> We're just kind of hoping and praying that nothing's broken block-wise. I feel like we would have seen it. The only thing is right here, but that's on the steering wheel. Only thing I'm worried about is that and where the AC compressor bolts up if something's cracked. I think you got lucky and it broke the think part it, of the AC compressor, not of the engine. Yeah, I think so too. And then we got lucky that it honestly broke this instead of breaking the freaking tail housing of the trans. So it could be worse. Yeah, next up, we gotta take the exhaust off, take the drive shaft out, and then uh, we're gonna lower this thing on jack stands and then unbolt all the K-member bolts and drop the whole K-member engine and trans together as one. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out and we'll talk to you guys in a bit. So we're down here. Charlie's taking off the last bolts for the drive shaft. Exhaust is off. Trans is disconnected. Everything back here is good to go. Next up really is to drop this thing back down with jack stands and start undoing K member bolts. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Nathan, what do you think? You got any words of wisdom? Uh. Okay guys, I'm back with the voiceovers. Here we are dropping the car down. We're about to pull the engine out and uh, what's ever happening over the next two minutes really took us about an hour. So it was it was just a lot of crap, a lot of stuff that really shouldn't have been so hard. Uh, like taking K-member bolts out, but the camera was bent so we couldn't get a socket on them. Had to cut stuff out of the way. Um, just dealing with typical crash damage. But as you guys will see here in a second, the frame rails and everything are completely toast. 
and the K-member is completely a goner. So you guys see we're about to pull the engine out here, about to lift the car up. And uh, it wasn't bad getting it out. And uh, you guys will see in the next episode, putting it in was not too bad. But um, it was just a fight the whole time. We were struggling. It took three people, but uh, we got it. All right, guys, we actually did it. Nathan is standing inside an engine bay. <laughs> guys, we got the engine trans out. Uh, that was, that actually went well. Like, I'm actually- Not bad. Uh, two, two hours took us to pull this whole thing out, so. And now the freaking fun begins. So we got the whole K-member out. We dropped it. I like I like dropping it that way. That actually worked rather well. But is in here we can see even more. We got, crunch. we got crunchy crunch. crunch. Something hit. You'll you'll have that. I mean, we got crunch, 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 crunch. Aprons crunched up here. No wonder they totaled this Did thing. Get the, uh, master <laughs> Hey, they were clearance in the header, so. She really ain't that big. She... <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna drop this thing back down some jack stand, so it's not gonna tip and kill us at one point. And uh, assess the damage on our 5.0 here, so. <laughs> this is where things start to get interesting, guys. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of footage of this because it was kind of late and we were just kind of had a tripod stu stood up. But uh, here I'm making some measurements because we are cutting off both frame rails. So uh, you can see here, I'm getting ready. I'm tying stuff up. Uh, just kind of, we measured the top and the bottom of the frame rail, made sure everything was good, and then made one good clean cut. Uh, we cut along the spot welds in there, but uh, you can see there's a rail, it's off. And uh, we did the same thing with the other side, but I'll talk about it here in a second. You wanna say hi? Hey bud, how you doing? Okay guys, so uh, yet again, I forgot to film an outro. So uh, it's a lot of but uh, basically guys, we ended up getting the frame rails cut off completely and we didn't get any of it filmed. But uh, right now it looks like this in the car. It is completely cut off and it is kind of scary. So um, next episode, we're gonna start building back. We actually bought some uh, cut off rails from a, another wrecked car that was rear-ended and uh, we're gonna be fitting those up, welding those out, making sure everything fits right and uh, getting the K-member in soon. So guys, super excited for this build. As of right now, you guys will see in the next two episodes, uh, the car is freaking sick. It's gonna be so cool. But um, guys, super excited, stay tuned. And the next video, uh, we'll have an update on the 69 Fastback. So love you guys a ton, talk to you later.